Okay, so this is the uh, video for workshop 4.1 CFD mixing tank. Um, I just want to emphasize that the mixing tank workshop is very important. It's uh, very similar to what you guys are going to be doing for the assignment uh, 2, where we're looking at a computer cooling fan. So again, this is just a uh, an object which is within a given volume that will be rotating at a given axis. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to be building this completely from scratch. So the objectives are sketching, modeling, and we're going to be using a bit of a parameterization if uh, necessary. So again, drag and drop a geometry, um, right click, uh, new design modeler. And the key thing here is, again, very similar with the other packages, making sure that we have the units correct. So units, millimeters. Um, and what we want to do is we're going to create the blades first. So by simply drawing a sketch, we should be able to do this. So again, X, Y plane, look at. So we've got this. Um, and then with the sketching tool straight away, um, or in a model, you can create new sketch and then go to sketching. Once we've got the sketching, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a line um, and just draw a line simply on the upper part of our domain. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that the uh, we split this model in into two sections um, and making sure that it's um, selected right. So split at edge at selection. That's what we need to do. So constraints, um, sorry, modify split. And we just simply just click it there and we can see that this point has been split. Go to constraints, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the coincidence and select flat and to the point edge, and that's now fixed to that point. So, what we want to do now is give it a general length, so dimension general. Um, select this one first, um, and this one's going to be 40 millimeters. Okay, and what we want to do is also at the same time um, make sure that we have everything correct. Um, so the height from the point of the middle to the x axis, so dimension vertical from there to there. And this is going to have a value of 25 millimeters. And the next thing we want to do is make sure that we have the right angle, which is uh, 20 degrees from there to this one here. So angle from there to there. And again here, all we want to do is right click alternative angle, alternative angle, alternative angle, and we have the right one. So that's correct, so 20. And we want to make sure that this length is equally to the same length as this one. OK, so what we need to do now here is to make sure that this length is equal to this length. So go into constraints. Um, and then obviously here we've got the equal length tool section. So select that, that, and now that's completely one equal length. So the next step here is um, what we want to be doing is extruding this um, into a blade section itself. So by clicking on the model, um, we can select the extrude function. So extrude sketch one, press apply. Um, here we're going to keep that as add material. It's normal, normal direction. Uh, the fixed is there. The depth is going to be 150. Now here is this as thin surface, we want to select yes. And we want to put two millimeters above and two millimeters below. Um, so the outward thickness. Um, and then hopefully fingers crossed if you just press generate, you'll see that it's created our first blade. So once it's done that, we can then simply put on the radius fillets. Um, so again here, you've got fixed radius. Um, and click on that, select the two edges, again pressing control, you can select both edges. It's going to have a radius of 25, 
apply and then generate and then we've got our radiuses um, uh, fillets on our blade edge so now what we want to do is create a pattern so pattern function select this body it's going to be circular axis is this one here apply and it's five and then press generate and we've got our blades um, for our mixing tank so the next step here is to create a cylinder um, which is going to be the hub uh, for our um, mixing tank so create primitive cylinder and again here it's the yz plane or zx plane sorry um, and you can see it's in the right direction it's add as material 75 for the radius and 50 mil in in the z direction okay so you see it goes uh, both ways so generate so there's our hub that's been created and the next thing now here is we need to create a new plane from the top surface so click on that new plane generate so we have a new plane there and what we want to do here is create a new cylinder from that plane 4 so create primitive cylinder and here is going to be plane 4 apply and the radius this time is 15 mil and this is 550 and you can see that this is going to be the shaft that is connected to the hub press generate okay so here we've got our shaft we've got our propeller blades and then we've got our hub as well so the next thing now is um, again just open up the plus sign here to make sure that if it's right we've got a solid um, and that's the mixing blade assembly finished now what we'll do is create the actual body that holds the propeller um, and shaft and uh, we're going to use a primitive cylinder we then we we'll use a blade uh, sorry, a blend function, uh, boolean subtract, and then we have our fluid region. So again, here create body, sorry, uh, primitive uh, cylinder, and the cylinder again here is going to be in the zx plane. Apply this time, we want to make sure that it's add as frozen, um, otherwise, it will unite with everything that we've got here. The radius is 300 mil. Z component is 700, um, but also at the same time it's minus 100 going down here. C. Okay, so generate that. Now we can see here we've got two separate bodies. If you don't see two separate bodies, go back to cylinder three and make sure that this is added as frozen. So the next thing what we want to do is create a fixed blend. So fixed blend select the top edge, control, bottom edge, both of these have been selected, put 100, apply, generate, and now we've got the blend on both of those. So once we've got that, the next thing we need to do is use a boolean function to subtract our um, inner body to our outer body, so create boolean subtract, target body is this one here, tool body is the first solid apply generate and now that's been subtracted from our domain um, but the key thing here is we want the region around the propeller to be rotating so we need to insert in a sliced cylinder uh, and this way then we can have the stationary air uh, or domain on the outside and the rotating domain in the middle inside but providing an RPM in Ansys Fluent. So again create by um, primitive cylinder um, and again that's going to be in the uh, zx um, plane this time here it's going to be added as a slice material uh, we want to make sure that it's ever so slightly smaller so 170 we then put the z as 90 um, and we minus 20 here and you can see the cylinder just sits on the outside um, of our model and press generate and there we go so we've got a rotating fluid region 
which is where the propeller is, and then we've got the stationary region where the outer is. And you look two sections there. Um, and obviously, that concludes this part of the tutorial. Um, and here we just created a model using primitive shapes.